Hello my lovelies, this is Jackie. Welcome again to my channel. Today I will be continuing my exploration with sunscreens for the face for this summertime. I can't go anywhere without pouring in the face. So a really good sunscreen that can be sweat resistant and water resistant is very valuable to me during this time. And at the end of last of, of my last video where I reviewed four or five different sunscreens for the face, I told you that this would be this would be a new sunscreen that I will be trying out. Um, this is a snail serum based um, sunscreen. Um, I've recently been very obsessed with snail products because I had a little flare up with some skin irritation. The snail product was just able to calm it down as well as moisturize it and get it back into shape. So uh, when I discovered snail ingredients in a sunscreen product, I thought, oh, I have to try it. So here we are. This is um, a sunscreen by Jigot, J-I-G-O-T-T. Uh, -T. And uh, it is currently costing just under 750 US dollars on full price at, on YesStyle. So it's a really good deal because it is not your usual 50 ml, rather it is a 70 ml, so it's a really big bottle. Um, and let's go on and try it. So when I open, you can smell it's more of a general um, cosmetic sunscreen um, smell. Uh, so it is perfumed for those of you who might be a bit sensitive. This might be a factor that you want to think about, but um, it's not overpowering and it's just quite a nice neutral scent. And I've just put some on my hand and it spreads very easily, but it seems to leave a white cast. Um, in terms of texture, it does spread easily, but the color seems to stay. However, when I use it on my face, it does um, sink in uh, very quickly and then the white color just leaves the face. So what I'll do is um, put about this much on my hands and put it on my face for your reference. So I've got that much spread across and what I do is I literally just spread it across um, I'm trying to get every inch of my face I should have put my hair up but this will do um, so my face is just uh, freshly washed and moisturized with nothing on it um, and you can see This is how it applies. I make sure to also put some around my eyelids and eye area because this tends to get ignored, but it is still very much prone to sun damage and you just don't want to end up with these wrinkles around your eyes with premature aging. So that's how it looks. So on first application, you can see that it does give you a slight glossy uh, sheen on your face, which I didn't quite like at the beginning. Um, and it does feel stickier than your usual, um, definitely feel stickier than your usual uh, sunscreens with alcohol. Um, this is a mineral sunscreen, I believe, so it doesn't have that uh, very light texture. Um, and it does feel a bit stickier than usual. Um, I, when I first tried it the first time, I thought I was just gonna not be using this on my face at all because it felt quite heavy compared to some of my other favorite sunscreens. But um, actually, it wears quite nicely once it sets in. I thought it feels so heavy it's gonna clog my pores but um, it didn't do that at all compared to um, other sunscreen where I've tried that's water resistant so this one is um, 
advertised having strong water resistance um, so it is one that it would be good if you live in a very humid climate you sweat a lot on your face like I do or even using it on your body when you're going to the beach or going on hikes um, because it is such a affordable um, I would say it's a bit more premium than your usual sunscreen that you put use on your body but it is still quite affordable so I wouldn't hesitate to use this um, outside of my face area which I usually reserve for more premium products so I do use it um, around my ears on my neck decollage and especially the back of my neck um, that back of the neck spot is very easily ignored but um, you don't want to end up with a uh, turtle looking back of neck because you forgot about. So while I've been talking and doing a few outtakes, um, it's been about 10 minutes since I've applied this um, Dragot sunscreen. And you can see that the sheen has kind of um, settled in a bit so it doesn't look as greasy but still giving me that nice glow so actually this sunscreen is one that i definitely don't mind on my face and um i can definitely trust that it has that water resistance and sweat resistance because of how the texture feels on my skin it just tends seems to adhere a lot better than um some of the other ones that i've tried that seem to kind of sweat away more and just to confirm, um, the sunscreen ingredient um, that's used in this product is a mineral sunscreen and the ingredient is titanium dioxide and this is a coral and reef safe ingredient for sunscreen. So if uh, you're a nature lover and you love being out in the water, this would be a really good contender because of its strong water resistance as well as being reef safe. And uh, another fun ingredient, um, they do say on the package that it's a whitening uh, sunscreen. Um, and I've learned that in a lot of Asian beauty, they say whitening for products that are actually brightening. And I think um, whitening products have a bad rep because people tend to think it bleaches your skin and it takes away the melanin. Um, and for people who actually like a little bit of a suntan, like myself, um, I've actually, uh, you know, ran away from these products that were marketed as whitening, but really they're brightening. And specifically for this product, um, the brightening ingredient is arginine, which is also an antioxidant and skin brightener. So you can see because of that ingredient, they say it's a whitening product and also a wrinkle product that helps um, to actually reverse any damage that's already been done while you protect future um, sun damage. So to conclude, this product definitely has my kiss of approval. I will definitely be stocking this um, to use not just on my face but also on um, other sensitive and drier areas of my body like my decollage, the back of my neck and my upper arms and my forearms um, because these tend to be a bit drier areas and uh, the snail ingredient as well as the arbutin won't really help with um, the anti-aging and the moisturizing effects of these highly exposed areas. If you liked my review, please support by using my affiliate links in the description box below. I will get a small, small commission when you use these links. And uh, please share in your comments um, what your other favorite sunscreens are for your face and body. I'm always looking for new products to try and uh, looking forward to sharing with you in a future video. Thank you and goodbye. So this